We've only got six weeks until the end of the year, so let's do my TBR for the rest of November and all of December. Welcome back to the channel folks, Future Fiction Reads, my name's Luke and today we are doing uh, the rest of November and December TBR uh, to bring me up to the end of 2024. Um, it hasn't been the greatest reading year for me but I'm going to end this year on a high and I've got some fantastic books that I am very looking forward to reading. So without further ado let's get on with this. Uh, before I start, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe down here uh, if you don't want to miss any of my content and videos coming out. So let's go with, I've got, two, I'm currently reading a fantasy book and I've got two more fantasy books to read this year. I am currently reading Terry Pratchett's Men at Arms. This is a reread. I've read this many times over, over my uh, adult years. Um, and I always go back to the City Watch books. Uh, it, it's a comfort read. It's a go-to for when I'm feeling a bit down or feeling a bit stressed or whatever. Terry Pratchett will always fix me. Always. And Men of Times is one of my favourite City Watch books. So, I mean, I've only just started that, but I will speed through that um, in a matter of days, really. So that is my current fantasy read, Men at Arms, Terry Pratchett. The next fantasy book I'll be reading at some point, I saw on... Um, Matt's Fantasy Book Reviews, uh, not long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and it's a book that's been around for a while, um, written by Michael R. Fletcher, and that is Beyond Redemption. Uh, Matt absolutely lauded this book with many, many compliments, and uh, I quite like his taste in books, so I thought I'd give this a go. Um, apparently sales for these just went through the roof after that, after that review, and one of the sales is me. So I am really looking forward to reading it. This is, this is the grimmest of grim, grim, grim dark as you can get. So looking forward to some delicious nastiness uh, reading that. That's not too long. So I should probably bash through that in a week, hopefully. Um, so thank you, Matt, for uh, putting that on my radar. Uh, so I'll be getting around to that very, very soon. The last fantasy book I'm going to read is an absolute chonker. Uh, this is from... Um, indie author extraordinaire Rob J. Hayes and this is his uh, God, Age of the God Eater trilogy of trilogies and I'm going to be starting with uh, what is highly recommended to start with which is Herald, Age of the God Eater. As you can see it is rather rather chunky. This is the Broken Bindings beautiful uh, special edition with some beautiful artwork inside, um, beautiful uh, print and artwork uh, inside as well. So I'm very much looking forward to that. This is the biggest book I'm going to be reading. <laughs> so that may take me quite, probably a couple of weeks, I would have thought, if I really get my, really put my mind to it. So that will be the last fantasy book that I read this year. So that's three very, very delicious looking fantasy books that uh, I will be coming up to. So then I have four science fiction books lined up for me and I have purposely chosen some quite small books because Rob J. Hayes' chunk is going to take me quite a substantial part of the uh, next six weeks. So the first, I've got a couple of classics, classic sci-fi in here uh, that I need, I need to kind of educate myself with because as much as I proclaim to be a massive sci-fi fan, I have yet to read like the classics, Arthur C. Clarke, uh, Ian M. Banks, Isaac Asimov, all those guys. So my first sci-fi book uh, that is on my TBR is Ian M. Banks, Consider Flebus. Flebus? Is it Flebus? Consider Flebus. This is um, the first book in his culture series, and I believe there's quite a few culture books. Oh yeah, there is. There's inside the inside the page there. There's quite a few. So this is the first one in his culture book. You know, this has been around for absolutely donkey's years. I've heard great things. It's kind of hard sci-fi-ish, and um, you know, it's it's one of the staple series of 
science fiction books. So very much looking forward to digging into Consider Flebus. Uh, another classic, going back in time a bit with the author, is Arthur C. Clarke's Rendezvous with Rama. This is a classic that I've been meaning to get my teeth into for a very, very long time. It's a nice short book. I should get through this rather, rather quickly. Um, some people put this on their, like, hard sci-fi list. Uh, you know, some of the greatest hard sci-fi books they've read. This, this is often on their lists. So um, I'm very much looking forward to it. It's won various Hugo and Nebula awards and lots of awards for, you know, being um, a fantastic kind of uh, legend of the sci-fi era uh, in that kind of golden era of science fiction back in the day, you know, and it's part of the uh, sci-fi masterworks series. Uh, you'll find Arthur C. Clarke and uh, Isaac Asimov in these nice kind of yellow, um, commemorative kind of editions. So very much looking to Rendezvous with Rama. Um, it's, it's a first contact story. And um, I read many, many years, I read 2001 Space Odyssey. Absolutely love that. He's very much a concept and ideas man. Um, it's kind of less about character and more about, you know, kind of exploring themes and ideas of first contact. Um, you know, the effects on humans, what a human reaction would be things like that. So very much in my kind of sphere of science fiction books that I like to read. Uh, next is a kind of sci-fi comedy. Um, I mean, I'm a massive fan of uh, Douglas Adams and the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, and then on the fantasy side, we've got Terry Pratchett. And I read this author's first book, uh, which was uh, Orphan Planet. Absolutely loved it. It had a very Pratchett-esque type humour. Uh, this is Rex Burke, and this book is The Wrong Stop. This is a book that uh, I was going to read for a tour that happened a couple of weeks ago, but um, family circumstances prevented me from joining in. So I am going to read this, and I'm going to put a review out because I do not like letting people down. So Rex, don't worry. I am reading this very, very soon, and I'll put a review out. I'm sure I'll enjoy it because I absolutely loved Orphan Planet. So if you like a bit of uh, comedy in your sci-fi, I would definitely recommend Rex Burke. He's got quite a few books out now. And last book on the November, December TBR is a book that's actually been bounced from my October TBR because October was a shitstorm and I didn't read very much. Um, but this is Neil Asher's Gridlinked. This is considered to be book one of his Polity series. There are various places you can start from, but even on, on his own website, uh, he's actually got like a small essay about where to start with the Polity universe. And this is recommended quite a lot uh, by the author himself and by other people who have read the Polity series. This follows uh, an agent called Ian Cormack and he spent years mentally linked to the Polity's AI network. And in order to uh, achieve what he needs to achieve, he needs to be severed from that. So it's all about kind of um, learning to use his human wit and ability and intellect to uh, solve the problem. So very much looking forward to that. Sounds like there could be some juicy themes in there for me to fish out. Because if you follow my channel, you know I like themes. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I mean themes, but also action and adventure as well. You've always got to have a some good action so and I bet there's some in here so I'm very much looking forward to Neil Asher's Gridlinked and digging into the Polity universe so that is my TBR for November and December I am very much looking forward to that let me know what you've got in store to read uh bringing you up to the end of the year I'd love to know your sci-fi and your fantasy recommendations or whether you've read the books that I've mentioned today and uh, just let me know what your thoughts on those books. I always like to have a discussion down below in the comments. Uh, it really is helping uh, helping build this, this channel into a lovely community. Um, so yeah, so enjoy your reading everybody and revel in the destruction of your TBR and I shall see you soon for the next video. Happy reading!